Oh wow! Hey, you're cool. And it only took taking it apart three times. <laughs> so this is the one that wouldn't work? This is the one that wouldn't turn on and maybe it'll turn on with a remote and whatever. But so what'd you do? I first tried to fix the power supply Okay. to a failure I don't completely understand because here it is over here and it had this cap blown. Okay. So I fixed that, I replaced that and now it'll Turn all the DC supplies on. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm gonna think that's just a DVD player crept. No, that's not the DVD player. That's something happening. Well, it's a shitty DVD player. Oh, okay, well here. So. Oh, we're, I didn't press any buttons, it just came back. Yeah, it's the DVD player being. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you have a DVD? I don't have a DVD and I don't even think that thing works. And okay. it, it was a matter of I needed some kind of a source thing. But okay. anyways, so I tried changing out the cap, no go. I, the DC supplies came on, but the high voltage part won't power on. Okay. And I don't really know why. <laughs> now, tried. what is that for? Is that for this thing's sister? No, this is the one out of that. Well, how the hell is that working without that? Ah, that's the magic. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason why it's like, need to, would love to send Samsung a wonderful letter because what the this hell is another Samsung one we had okay around did this one work this one had a different problem like okay. display problems and so you took a part out of this and put it in the other one yep Franken display because what can totally go wrong yeah but now this one doesn't work this one didn't work to begin with this one had like major like display problems so and that one's not throwing a complete well that's because right the DVD is a piece of junk I'm gonna okay. put a computer on it right now. Maybe. Okay, put it, put a computer on. Let's I see would, it but my laptop doesn't have a PCI or VGA output. Okay. So. But that that has a VGA output. You know how much that weighs? <laughs> well, you you hang this on the wall. Uh huh. It's okay. Got, my plan right is for there, it to go and right then there. We could use it for the IRC and stuff. For all kinds of stuff. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't figured out that. And what I'd love to do, especially like right now, because you guys are right down in front of cameras and doing all kinds of stuff is if I had a feed from the feed from master control to here, we could even sit in radio and like narrate what the that heck you guys awesome. are doing. So there's there's thoughts. What okay. now we have a brand new shiny display. What do we do with it now? So, okay. Well make make it happen. Well I, I got you. I got the display working. Okay. I mean, that's half the that's well that's a that's a big chunk. It is. <laughs> I'm just Can you make the other one work too? No. I think that one is it has like like up here will be like snow and the rest will be blue. Oh. And snow in a digital display when there's no as bad input doesn't quite okay. make sense. So we'll we'll run it can you can you get to display a solid image so that we can run it through Will and Fry? Right. Even if there's snow in a corner? Actually it's a pl I don't know if that one's a plasma, but it might be. So when you hit it with Gemini, it might light up. That could be cool. So right. we gotta try that. There might be some nifty applications there. All right, I gotta get back down on the thing. Yep. <laughs> hey there, guys. Welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It is Saturday, August twenty fifth, fourteen thirty nine hours. We're hanging out, and it continues. It's the same thing as yesterday. We're working on this now. Look, there it is. Primary prototype assembly. That's how it's gonna look when it's done. We're we're mounting the control box now. Yep. And uh, Moose is over cutting stuff for the ring launcher. She's working on that. So this is this is going to be very very sexy in just a very short amount of time. So it's it's going to be big fun. Now, right now, Olivier, full tank. Yes. The boss, the muscles from Brussels, is here, and we're going to test this out. This is going to be my big badass contactor. 
if he ever plugs it in. You know we got a socket right back here, right? There's a socket, right? Yeah, well that cable has not really done that. Okay. I don't I don't know why you gotta be causing problems. Good, so I never worked with that This is DC. Alright, well we're we're just gonna ramp it up slow and see what happens. We got plugged in, we got juice. Now this is you bring these on, this is input for here, this is output for here. Okay. So yeah. Um, now we're wired up Should be. here and here. It's not, there's no polarity, so it's cool. No. I'm going to hand you the camera because I'm probably going to want two hands for this. That's kind of cool. And it just comes off slow. Watch as I ramp it up. That's, that's a lot of oomph. All right, I'm going to turn the breaker off. Bring this up to 70 volts. That works. All right, now this says right here 115 to 120 volts DC. So I'm gonna bring it up to 110 because that's all I got. It works. I love how we're knocking the dust off it. Well, it needs a return spring. It doesn't sound right. It's, it takes too much time. No problem, don't you? No. What? The longitudinal attitude of it. Okay. It needs to be the opposite attitude. It needs to be vertical? Yes. No. Yes. Yeah, you're right. Alright, well, let's stick it. will hold it. No, hang on. Let me, let me try something here. That sound better? A little bit, but not, you know, real, that sounds better. There you go. It needs a spring. It's missing a spring? Well, it's not missing one. It never had one for this application. Put, put it vertical, is what it sounds like. I can't put it vertical. It won't fit on the damn machine. It has to be vertical, otherwise the contacts won't open properly. They'll open right if I have a spring. I need a spring. Batman, we're gonna need a spring. So I drill a hole here and just yeah, it's gonna, it's get gonna a need a spring. spring. Yeah, get to there so. and we'll make a little bracket up here. Oh, you just have to put it through this bolt here. Where does this bolt do? This bolt doesn't do a damn thing. So that, you just mount the spring right. Yeah, there. we mount a spring, right, spring there. right there. Here, hold it. You'll see. How, it doesn't take a lot. Oh yeah. That's what I need. Okay. Don't drink it. Hell of a lot of contact. It'll work. It's a ring launcher. Be fine. I wouldn't trust it for like thumper, but for a ring launcher, that's gonna make a hell of a pop when it goes off too. That's why it don't sound right. It doesn't have a hundred thousand amps behind it. <laughs> All right, cool. This is my really big telegraph key. All right, that's that. I need you to come look. At what? Where the end of the pile of plastic is. I need to put it in right there. What do you got? He just brought over four. There's another piece right there. That's, that's one. not. That is. Oh, well, that's a lot thinner. Okay. And I want to know if the top layer, the circle, could that be a thinner piece? Because it's not supporting it. Right. The top piece has to actually be a little thicker. Um, yeah, the top piece could be MDF or something. Okay, we might have to. And these don't have to be UHMW. We could use, like, if you've got scrap MDF or stuff, we could do that. Alright.
Huh? That's the same label. Yeah, it's the same label. We're going to reproduce them. Because we butchered that one in So here's after. Yeah. It's not done yet, but that's that's the intermittent. That's that's after the first level of cleaning. Amy and Aaron are working on removing the rods. This is the tower with all the the pieces disassembled off it. What you doing, Batman? Mountain the blue box. Card. I'm just attempting to. I said to cut down these brackets a little bit, regrind that one a bit. Uh, You got a big tape measure on you? Uh, not handy, but most I'll have one. And there's a bunch in the drawer there's in there. just one here. Actually, I yeah. think most took it with it. No. Hey, who the hell's using my drill with this? Oh, it's your drill. I was using it. Are you sure that's your drill? You're authorized. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did that. Okay, I didn't know. I just, You're authorized. I knew you had a red one. I just thought it was yours. Oh, yeah, mine's that one. I killed okay. the battery. So I was like, ah, I don't want the other battery to die. Okay. I had to turn the music off. I was shooting a blog. God forbid we yes. have a radio on in the background when I shoot a blog post. Yeah. And I just wanted to rock out and build a goddamn thing. No. Yeah. Can't All right. do it while he's shooting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the music back on and we'll be back. Making Bill? TV mount. Yeah? The mount's missing. So, okay. so you're making surrogate one? mount. Cool. So out of old rack rail. Yep. It's got the wonderful I pick it up and show you, but it's probably hot as hate. <laughs> so, a little it works. contemplating. You wanna not drop the hot piece of metal on the cord? Well it wasn't the plan. Okay. But, yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> designing a mold and machining a mold for a custom table light. Cool. Carving it out of a very big block of steel. Yes, I am. Okay. What's going on, Moose? It's for the ring launcher, I think. Huh? This is for the ring launcher, I think. It is.
For those at home, the bit isn't glowing red. The bit is painted red. We had people commenting on that. That, that becomes my cold open. Oh yeah, that'd be great. I'm following you. Nothing epic's happening yet. Okay. Well, show me what you got. Uh, okay. Well, I got most of it. It's pretty boring down here at the moment. Boring. There's filing happening. And oh, yeah. But, like, everything's in process. Process? Yeah. And I'm waiting for my parts from Moose so I can walk around with the camera for a minute. Ah, I see. You're in fab mode. How much to... But I found these bars down there, and whoever donated them must have just needed the back plate or something. So they left us with that. But that'll man, work. Su more surprising than the first one. <laughs> the first attempt was going to be not a good idea. You got so. two of these though, right? Yeah, okay. other ones down there. Because now I have to. I like how they just fit. Well, they have extensions. That's what. Oh, okay. If your TV's bigger, I guess. So, so I need a bigger TV, Chris. That's what it means. I got better. Bigger mounts, I gotta have a bigger TV, right? But yeah, so now I gotta put a couple holes down at this end. Cool. And then then try to get this level. <laughs> Just sight off the brick lines. That's a good idea. That's what I do. It's one thing I didn't stop to get. It probably won't be perfectly level, but it'll be level enough. 
Well, it, and if it matches the brick lines, you'll never notice that it's not level. It's one of those things like when I hang pictures or anything that's permanent. No, I guess picture's not permanent. Now, but I always get it just almost there. Like, I am a half a degree. Well, because it's against a brick line, if you... Even if the brick line isn't perfectly level, match it to the brick line because if you're level and the brick line isn't, you'll see the slope and know, that'll make you I crazy. Know. It drives. There's a couple yeah. things around here I've mounted the walls with it, and I'm like, yeah, I got the level up, <laughs> right up, and I'm like, oh, it looks oh. bad. But so I'm right, damn dust. it, I'm right. I believe in you. <laughs> Threaded rod back in. That's the that's the lowest piece. Here at the Geek Group, we've invented a new fundraising strategy. You can now purchase impressively tiny coins we've compressed using high energy magnetism. We induce a current pulse of 100,000 amps into a copper wire coiled around a golden dollar dime or quarter, producing very powerful opposing magnetic fields that compress a quarter to the diameter of a dime which you then receive in a lovely commemorative package along with the satisfaction that can only come from helping the Geek Group build our endowment, which in turn will allow us to put membership fees, donations, and sponsorships towards furthering the organization rather than just maintaining it. Carry a lightning bolt in your pocket, available at thegeekgroup.org. Real hole. You want some lube on that? Maybe they do. She doesn't want to go down in. I pound it in there. I'll feed it in. It's not going down at all, though. Don't you well, mean? something's not lined up right. It's lined up now. Bruce, what'd you do? I don't blame Bruce. It's, it's not even going through now. the second part. It's not going through its top part. Yeah, pull it out and you'll see it has a weirdo little retaining yeah. latch. Oh. No, just bang it in there. No, I ain't, uh, just bang it in. All right, I'm banging it. I really want to take it. There we go. Just like that. All right. Oh boy, that was like a coffin for something or other. I'm not sure what. That's cool. God, this sticks up. Oh. What? This is not. This this top piece is. Top piece right here is tight. This one's not. Uh, I can lift it up on okay. Oh, it's twisted. Yeah. Can you yeah. fix that while you're at it? Appreciate yeah, it. I'm sure I can. Just third time. Sweet. That looks like a $29,000 project right that's, there. That's starting to look like something, yeah. Doing moose. Measuring. Yeah. The, the holes are not quite the same. No. No. You, you can 
Tell was definitely made in a different era of tolerances. <laughs> Huh? Oh. You buy the quartered ones and they're fine. The quartered ones are amazing. Yeah. But I bought, like I, I said, know, I bought battery ones. Not that, but not they got to compete. They got to compete with all the crap that's out there for $100 for a kit. So. Know, right? Yeah. Eighteen, sixteen hours, and finally have the first plate on <laughs> for like the fifth time. This time it'll work. We're, we're, this is why we prototype out of cheap, shitty surplus cardboard. Because if we had done the prototyping out of like MDF at thirty bucks a sheet or UHMW at a thousand dollars a sheet, this would have sucked pretty bad. Yeah. So we're doing a plywood that was surplus. In fact, this piece of plywood used to be the floor in here. All right, let's put the caps in. See what we get. Make sure that uh, the labels on the caps both face the same direction. Yay! One. Too much harder. It is yeah. a really snug fit. Mm. Aaron, help her tip that like you did the first one. Well, it's just there's nothing to grip. Oh. Oh. All right, 39 and 48 are in their official place. The rods. That's, that's their inventory numbers in the Geek oh, Group inventory, 39 and 48. So, all right. Well, now we need the next plate. Here, I'll hand you the camera. I haven't even made that plate yet. Make that plate. Because we know yeah. Now we know, save this, that this program. Yeah. Make me another one just like this. Right. Remember that one hole is offset just well, to here. to make all of the holes a little bit bigger. All right. Let's see which one looks better. Was there an order to them? No, well, yeah, but I can change that order up. It just determines what height the shelves go at. Oh. Uh. Think so?
Yeah, it's gonna be our, become our new thing. <laughs> We're gonna be out here like middle of the night just dropping shit on there. Uh, yes. Cool. Those are now we put the next plate on. See if we get. usually used for networking. Bloody hell, Bill! How many anchors do you need to hang a screen? Well, we clean up the cables while we're here. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> this. So you got you got like eight feet anchors going across there. Well, uh, you know. Well, you might as well. You know, like I said, I'm here. I already tore the radio apart, so I love that. Might as well clean up the clean it up while I'm here. Okay. So. Why don't you having fun? I don't know. I'm not having that much fun. No, it'll, it'll be fine. I might not finish tonight, but uh, I might be able to finish tomorrow. Who knows? Okay. We'll see, we'll see. Then we can sit up here and watch movies, Kurt. A little fire. Uh, we'll be comfortable. Actually, I don't know. We'll see. Well, I found the connection I put in a previously, and it has a video feed in it. Cool. So, or at least it has the capability of a video feed. All right, so you, so, you, can, so you can pipe that down to here. That would be cool to have master control. But the thing is, we had this debate whether or not narration of, of live... Depends a lot on who's doing the narrating. That's true. And Like when it was Mitch trying to narrate about high voltage, he's like, oh, and they've got these big um, gray things. Those, those must be insulators. And like, ah! Sure, there, there's definitely a... a Knowledge limitation there, yeah. definitely. So, I don't know. It's 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 interesting. Uh, I hate to say this, but it lends the credence to moving this to where master control is. But I don't know. That's if we, a good idea. I know, but it's a good idea. I'm already here. I, I, I'm it's happy. it's not hard to move it. It's easy to move it up there. We got all that space now. Got big space, and I can give you. I can give you. One profoundly good reason why you should move this up to master control. Air conditioning, yo. That that's something else I was thinking. Of. Yeah. There's that, but there's there's AC. There's up wonderful there. echo. If we put oh, the windows shit. Back like in, you care. I do. I hate echo, but Yeah, well the audio quality on the station sucks to begin with, so it's really not that big a deal. But we can fix the echo by putting up you know things. You just don't like any of the stuff I've ever done. I like a lot of the stuff you've done. But I can sit and point out flaws in it all day long. That's well, that's my job. You know, I'm just here to give you shit. I, I will I will give the old A V answer. Money solves problems. That's that's the honest truth. I totally agree. But you got any money? I got like three or four dollars. I think I got like a five. We can get, we can get a natty, natty, whatever the hell's called Mike for about four dollars. We oh, can get right. one of them. Okay. No. It's all good stuff. It'll all be good. I, I like the idea of moving radio up to MC. Let me put my windows back in and just saying. We could do that. Maybe build a wall. We could build a wall. Build a wall, put the windows back in. Yeah, all we gotta do is fill up that old window. You don't even have to put a new have window. The there. Windows? Yeah, oh, we yeah. got the window. So I mean I don't know how the hell we're gonna get it up there. We're not. If we, if we put a wall there, we'll just wall it in. There won't be a window. We'll put a little door in it for when we need a camera port down into the room, but that's it. Fuck it. It's yeah, easy. Let's all think about that for a little bit. All right, so. you think about that. Because we can move it in a couple hours. We get Steve over here. We get a few guys. It's trivial to move radio up there. Because radio doesn't have any shit. Radio is a couple computers and a mixing console. That's easy. Well, that's what you think. No, it really is. There's it's a, a couple computers. and a, Oh, God, the cables. Fuck. Lily can carry all the cables up there in one trip. Yeah. Yeah. There's, Thank you. There's chairs. I don't There's have chairs up there. Wow. I don't have a good reason. You don't have a good reason not it, to, I mean, and you got 50 reasons why you should, I because like then it. it gives you the live stream master control right there. You could do both at the same time. All the interfaces for the networks up there for all the broadcasting stuff. It's easy. It's simple. It's efficient. It gives you way more space. It's got air conditioning. It's got privacy. I kind of feel like you're a realtor right now. It's got an instant exit instead of having to like go down and around. You can just go right out the stairway. Yeah, yeah, yeah that realtor point doesn't. doesn't it's great. There's a location, there, so. location, location. I know, I know, man. We'll think about it. It also has the advantage of freeing up all this damn space. For what? What are you gonna put here? For something here. else. What are you gonna put here if I'm not here? Okay, Bill. Yeah. You can't be that fat and jiggle like that because it just makes me laugh. But I got something in my back pocket, so it makes me sound like I'm. You, you like can I take. Don't you can take that out and jingle, jiggle again. There you go. The women love it. The women love it. Lisa's freaking right now. I don't know. 
Gotta get Lisa back here. Cause she went and had a kid. She went and had a kid. So her like her fifth kid. The second, but yeah. <laughs> it's it's one of those things. She's had three since she left here. Yeah, there you go. They're really quick. They're she's like, efficient. She's she's like uh, what is that? She's a gestation princess. There you go. Nah, she'll be back. Because everybody comes to the radio show to let off steam. You say that, but you haven't been to the past two shows. Amy's doing your show now. I know. Amy hey, and Jabroni. Hey. And Jabroni talked last week. Hey, when I set something up, people can take over. They can just keep going. See how that works? You going to be back next week? Hell yeah. Okay. We're going to do the show. Have some fun. Like okay. I always try and have. Okay. And then Chris comes up here and yells at me. I, I yell a little. I bring I bring passion. Well, the, the thing I'm is... I'm passionate. One other thing I want to add, and I haven't quite made it work yet, is I want to put my compressor limiters into this thing. That's a great idea. And I kind of want to put a rack right underneath hey you know what we got up in master control hmm. racks racks you know what i got in that room right there what a rack that'll okay. fit under this table okay but it might not be comfortable for the people sitting there so you, you can bring this table up to master control i brought it down from master control so then you know it'll fit so. up there no problem see how easy that is no you're, you're it's not, easy you're not a good realtor Chris. i'm an That's awesome right. realtor right. i don't have to sell you <laughs> Yep, you know cool. why radio came down here in the first place, right? Uh, there was some kind of like space problem. No, so. nobody wanted to work with that asshole. And they said if either he gets out of our department or, you know, whatever. And I wanted to keep him here and give him a shot. So we put radio down here. But... Radio was supposed to be up Master Control. And now the editing outgrew Master Control. Mm -hmm. that, that could be all live broadcasting. We've got the Master Control for video. Radio, everything right there. That's the live broadcasting environment. It's a great main, idea. The main maybe benefit of this chunk is we can be here, and by the time we start doing shows, time of the day we start doing shows, there's not a lot of people around, and so it's kind of a it, even though it's like in a hallway, it's kind of isolated. Yeah. Where your AV people are working late into the night doing their, you know, Stephen animating almost 24 hours a day, and literally if we could get him like an insult, not an insult, but a adrenaline drip he would just sit there in his computer <laughs> animating all day so and he'd be really happy about that <laughs> get an IV bag and just yeah. Stephen's face drawn on it with like the adrenaline like doesn't even shit. need adrenaline just like a sugar solution he'd be fine uh, just so he has straight calories I don't really want to see Stephen on too much sugar oh, I think God, he's already awesome. on too much sugar I think he has like reserves under the desk I want to give him like four Red Bulls and slam his hand in the desk drawer and just say okay now start doing voiceovers <laughs> no, no. All right, so you're gonna work in the wall, or you're gonna sit here and give me shit about why you don't want to move this? But you're too interesting to, to not. Uh, I'll go away. Yeah, go away so All I can right. be productive. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm just waiting on my parts to get cut. I'll be back. Why? Because when I put the pole on there, which actually because the crystals were right here. Are you visualizing this grip? Show, show me what you got. You got a, a networkable, I mean a... What's the problem with that? There's no problem whatsoever except for... The height, right? I oh. just as soon have it relatively not up in the air. I'd, but. I'd, a little bit up, and it's on plastic, so it'll wiggle a little. About there. What do you got there? 25 inches, that's a long All right. Do that's it. That's what we want it. That's sure. how we want it. Yeah. We can always make it shorter. Can't make it long. Well, we can always make it. We can do it, but it's too long. 25 inches. Finally starting to take shape. Yep. And see that will get replaced with, uh, I'm still going to use plywood for strength, right. but what we're going to do is laminate it uh -huh. with uh, just like black formica, make it sexy. And uh, then we'll run it through the program on the CNC, get our perfect cutout, drop it in, it'll be sexy, black, good. And black is faster, it will charge faster. Right. Really? Now we need one more just like it for this level, yeah. and then we go up into the layers and like the No, uh, definitely here. What about up here? Is it gonna actually like cover these up? The no, it'll probably be above them. Because uh, this, the bottom one keeps them from sliding. Right. The middle one keeps them in position. Right. And so then, then yeah. we're cool. I don't, I don't need one at this level. No, I, I mean, need one up here. Right, but I mean. Are we it all have, depends. Are we have the squeeze? Yeah, all depends. Don't know. We'll work it out. 
Yeah. Flying by the sea or pants. Totally have no idea what that means. Just I, I got a picture in my head. I'm trying to make the picture. I had a little Research is what we're doing, and we don't know what we're doing. And then the is uh, okay. really chunk of so you can't, so that's why we have the quick connect. Okay, so I'll look in the quick connect thing and I'll find you. should find a cutoff wheel that'll fit that in. Time is 1912 hours, and we've got the rough mock up together. That's our uh, discharge contactor. There's the capacitors. Charging circuit will go down there, and output will happen up there. So that's, uh, that's the rough mock up of the ring launcher. This has come along quite a ways. You can see the blinking light up on top. That's the danger light. And Moose has something to show off. What do you got? What is it? Do we want to tell people, or should they guess? Let's have people guess. Person, first person to guess in the comments wins a set of Bolt Depot thread gauges, but and see if I you can figure out... I have one hint for our audience. I wouldn't give anybody any hints. This is a required hint. What? It's not a tree. Okay, yes, it's not a tree. Everybody said it's a tree. <laughs> way cooler yeah, than that. Way, way, way cooler than that. This is one of the coolest bits of art you've ever done. I think so. I, I can see you selling a lot of those. Yeah, and I think it's launched a whole new series of our artwork. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, that's that's cool. All right, so that's the day. It's, it's, it's 1914 hours. We've been thrashing ass all day. And today's been a really good example of what the Geek Group's all about. Okay, this is a place where people can come and tinker on their own projects. Like, what was the gentleman's name that was doing the molds? D Dave? Okay, yeah, Dave was here working on molds. We had a couple other people working on personal projects. You can come here and work on a project in a specific department, like Bill's working on stuff for radio all day. Or you could come here and work on big group projects, like this, like Bruce. That's Bruce. I'm putting my tools away. Yes, because you're good and clean up after yourself. No, I don't want other people taking my tools. And well, that's a good reason, yeah. You're one of the very few people that gets to bring their own tools here. As a rule, we don't do that because it keeps people from getting their tools stolen. It just worked out that way. Well, you're a department head, so you get to get away with a lot. So you wish. Bruce actually runs our electronics lab. You wish. <laughs> you're stuck with it, dude. Reluctantly runs our electronics lab, but he's been drafted. You've been voluntold. Okay. <laughs> so we got this together, and it's got it's really cool. This is the control box down here mounted rigidly and it's it's really awesome i like it and then the impulse generator here is all shined up and pretty that's what you can do with navel jelly so check out the ratings on that capacitor just just behold those numbers for a moment yeah there's like half a million amps there it's vicious vicious all right you guys have fun. That's today's Captain's Blog. If you're not a member yet, go to thegeekgroup.org and sign the fuck up. You need to be down here. You need to be on the website. I don't care if you live in Norway. I don't care if you're Dutch. Get on the website. Get in the forums. Get in the IRC. Get involved. Because this is where you... If you're watching this video, this long, with what we're doing, you're a geek. You're one of us. You need to be a member. And we want your brain. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden. You're not. That's today's Captain's Blog. I learned how to run a machine shop. Set up an enterprise level server. Program nine foot robots. Make lightning. Edit video. I'm building a radio station. Light bulb terrarium. A high-performance electric car. I'm a CNC geek. Computer geek! Robot geek. Physics geek. AV geek. I'm a radio geek. Craft geek! Car buff. 
No matter what kind of geek you are, we've got a place for you here at the Geek Group. Come join us. We build awesome.